Hi Virgo, this is your uh, bonus tarot reading for this month. We'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread, we'll um, take a look at what you urgently need to know right now. And it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. In the second spread, we'll look at the advice for what comes up in the first spread. And in spread number three, we'll see the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Virgo, here's what you urgently need to know right now. We have the 801s, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have uh, the Chariot, Justice, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This actually really does feel urgent, Virgo. We have three cards on the table that could be interpreted as cards of uh, literally going somewhere. It could be you going somewhere, <laughs> or it could be somebody else coming to you. Right, it could also be a card of some kind of a new beginning, or perhaps when this comes your way, it will require for you to act quickly. Okay, some of you could be simply going to like a dream vacation you always like to a destination you always wanted to go to. It could be a dream job that's coming your way. It could be a court order, right? It could be them letting you know that something is going to go in your favor. Um, if you filed for, say, uh, some kind of a loan or a business loan, they're going to give it to you. Things are about to unfold very, very quickly. It's like a rapid development. That's how it feels. And here's why I think so. There are two really, really fast cards in the tarot deck. Both of them are on the table. One came right after the other. The Eight of Wands and the Chariot, those are the two fastest cards. So for some of you, it's literally going somewhere. Or somebody could be coming your way. Or it could be... Um, something that will require your attention right now. Uh, it could be like something hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Eight of Wands, is also a pretty speedy card. This card could also be interpreted as going somewhere, or it's a it's a start of a new cycle. Right? They, they may, you may have an offer coming your way that could potentially launch a cycle. Or, say, you've got, a, you've, you've got something that's being uh, court-ordered for you, this will launch a new cycle in your life. Because now it's over, now you got the money, or now you got the job, now you got that loan, um, now you got that car. For some of you, you could be getting a new car that you always wanted, but perhaps it wasn't back order, I don't know. Right? Justice right next to the deck, yeah, it's that... Um, either a court system, judicial system, or it's just something that's going to go in your favor. Okay? Or something that you deserve, something that you're entitled to. Something is finally coming your way. You're finally getting what you deserve, right? The star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is also a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. Some of you could be going to your own wedding. <laughs> if you're already involved with somebody, perhaps you guys are going to your own wedding. Um, or you could be going to someone else's wedding. All right, but it is something important. Four major arcana cards on the table. Four out of five cards. And the minor arcana card, the only minor arcana card, the eight of wands, is also clarified by a major arcana card. All right, so something not to be missed, <laughs> especially if it is your own wedding. <laughs> I suggest you go. <laughs> I suggest you make an appearance. <laughs> All right, but jokes aside, yeah, this is awesome. Let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Here's the advice uh, for you, Virgo, for what we saw in the first part. We have Death, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, or any zodiac sign. The advice for you is to go ahead. The universe is screaming at you in a good way. The answer is yes, or the answer is suggested to be yes. <laughs> All right? There is a little twist to this story. Right? The death and the Fool, the only two major arcana cards. Perhaps in order for you to move forward with it, something has to change, or you may have to let something go, or you may have to adjust your perception or you adjust your approach to something. Um, yeah, but I, it could simply mean for some of you that your single days are over. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? That could be a card of your single days coming to an end. Or death is a card of transformation. Right? Or something that's coming to an end. Right, the fool on the bottom of, of the deck is a card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, right? But uh, let's face it, pretty much all new beginnings in our lives are taking a risk, uh, stepping out of our comfort zone, right? Every single new beginning, love, work, business, what have you, is taking a risk. It's just a matter of a 5% of a risk, 95% of a risk, or anywhere in between, right? 
Um, and then we got two Aces on the table, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a card of a brand new beginning. The Ace of Swords often comes through as a card, is the word yes. All right, it's also a card of clarity. And the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, it's a golden opportunity for you. Whatever is coming your way is a golden opportunity for you. Or it will turn out to be a golden opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles always talks about long term. And uh, again, with the... Um, pathway on the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles, this is a pathway to a new life. And your life will never be the same after this. Alright, so from the advice perspective, perspective, again, perhaps if something has to change, if something has to be adjusted or transitioned, it's going to be worth it. Alright, so um, that's what I have for you so far, Virgo. Let's take a look at spread number three, which is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's the last spread, Virgo, this is the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face. Uh, we have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups, uh, we have the Sun, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I will also have Leo on the table. Well, you got this King of Cups um, coming back to you. This is definitely somebody you already know. For some of you, this is your ex. And it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, by the way. Uh, for others of you, it could be somebody who blew a chance with you. Perhaps they went, you guys went on a couple of days and then they disappeared. They went uh, missing, they might, uh, you know. And now they're back regretting it. They really do want to try again with you, Virgo. I don't know what you're going to do about this. But you're going to be really happy just about the fact that this person is coming back. All right, so yeah, we got this King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. Everything to the left from the Sun. Those four cards, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, it's the way this King of Cups is feeling right now, right? And uh, it's like, prepare to hear a very emotional, even sobby story from this King of Cups. Right, the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords, those two cards even kind of look alike. And both of them, there is a person in bed, unable to get out of bed. Somebody who is crying themselves to sleep, somebody who is losing sleep over this, somebody who is depressed, stressed out about this. Um, the Five of Cups all the way to your left is a card of grief and regret. And uh, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is love, right? This is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all four nights. So do expect them to come back to you, share their feelings with you, do something very romantic for you. And at the end we do have the Sun clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Pentacles here, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Sun is a card of clarity, so you'll be crystal clear <laughs> about maybe what happened. Maybe they couldn't make for they couldn't move forward with you and they will explain it to you. At the same time you will still be happy about the fact that this is happening because the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles is clarifying the sun. So that's how you're going to be feeling about this. I don't know what you're going to do. This reading is only three spreads, <laughs> Virgo. But um, it's going to be up to you. It is going to be up to you. The only major arcana card on the table is the sun. Again, the happiest card in the deck. You're going to be happy about what's happening. And then you can, you know, take it from there, Virgo. All right, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing November.